Hello, 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 my kind friends. I decided to come and tell you that today we're going to learn an interesting story. That's right. But we'll let the teacher tell it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Do you see my friend Jesus here? Today we're going to learn something else about Jesus. We know that he was very busy, right? But before we get into that, let me ask you a question. Time to think. Have you ever been on vacation? Tell me about where you've gone. There's lots of places to go on vacation. Sometimes you can even have a staycation, which means you're on vacation, but you're not going anywhere. And that's okay too. Sometimes people go to the beach, to the lake. Sometimes they go to a fancy resort. There's all kinds of places you can go. So my family took a vacation this summer and I was gonna share some of those pictures with you. So when we go on vacation, we don't really go to faraway places. We kind of go camping. It's one of our favorite things to do. And we get to cook. I printed out some pictures to share with you. We cook on an open fire. My husband was making us coffee one morning. Cool, huh? So, when we were on vacation, we had to cook all our own food on an open fire, just like this. One of the other things we like to do is we like to go for walks. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah, there's my son and his friend. We took his friend with us. So we go for all these fantastic walks on this beautiful, beautiful outdoor area. The reason why we like to go camping so much is we like to get up really early in the morning and then we pack a lunch after we eat some breakfast and then we get on our boats and we go canoeing or paddle boarding all day. That's right, all the way until dinner time. Here they are. Couple hours in and they were having a blast. And just to show you that I have just as much fun as the kids do, ta-da, <laughs> I had fallen in the water. I was still learning how to use my paddleboard and the water was pretty rocky. Lots of waves in it and lots of other big boats going by. So it knocked me in, but I thought it was still pretty funny anyhow. <laughs> I also got pretty sunburnt too. But here's what I can tell you about that vacation. We didn't go very far. We stayed in Wyoming, but as you can see, it was lots of fun. My favorite part about going on this vacation, I got to sleep in every morning. That's right. Sleeping in is one of my favorite things to do on vacation. I get up really early in the mornings, so being able to, to sleep in and relax, sometimes we'll go out on the boats, and we'll find a nice beach area and we'll pull over and we'll just rest. Adults need to rest sometimes, just like kids do. Younger kids take naps, but adults can't really do that. Well, they can, but probably not while they're at work, huh? No, there's always so much to do. And that's what we're gonna learn about our friend Jesus today. What he taught us about having too much to do. That's right. I can remember even just this week, I had worked really long days and I came home and it was seven o'clock at night. You gotta remember, Miss Candy, I get up at like 5 a.m. every day, but I like to go to bed by 10 p.m. Cause sleep is important for our bodies, isn't it? Absolutely, uh-huh. But I went to bed as soon as I got home. I was so tired. My family was worried about me. They even woke me up to ask me if I was okay. And I just said, I'm so tired. Lord, what do I do? So that's what he's gonna teach us today. He's gonna teach us what we do when we're that tired and how important it is to take time to rest. 
So if you're following along at home, you want to go ahead and open up your Bibles to Mark chapter 6. Now, Mark is the second book in the New Testament. So it goes Matthew, Mark. Remember, chapters are the big numbers. So we'll go all the way to chapter 6 here. That's right. And verses are the small numbers. So we're going to start with verse 30. And we're going to kind of jump around in chapter 6. So we'll do verse 30 through 34, and then maybe we'll do verse 53 through 56. But instead of me just reading it to you, why don't I show you what's going on? Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to dive right in. There we go. Let me adjust my camera so you can see better. Here we go, wiggle, 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 going into the land. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ta-da. Wow, look at all these people. This is a lot of people. There's our friend Jesus right here. There he is. So while we're reading in the Bible, and during the story today, Jesus tells us that sometimes we need to take some time off to get caught up on our rest. This Bible story in Mark chapter 6 tells us about a time when the disciples went to Jesus and told him how busy they had been teaching all these people. Look at all these people. Wow, that is a lot of people. So the disciples ran up to Jesus and they said, oh, Jesus, here he goes. He's running up. Jesus, Jesus, teacher, we must speak with you. Oh boy, yes, yes, tell me what is going on. Oh, we're just so exhausted. We're so tired. There's been so many people coming and going that we haven't even had time to stop and eat. Could you imagine that? Not even having time to sit down and have a meal. There are so many people coming to hear. Hear the wonderful news that Jesus has to tell them. He was healing the sick. He was telling people about the wonderful, wonderful things that are going to happen. He was a teacher and his disciples were helping with that. So he told them, come with me to a quiet place where we can get some rest. So what Jesus did with his disciples was he said, follow me. So here they go down their path. And where will they end up? Good question. Jesus said, follow me. So there he goes up the plank. His disciples came to, they came onto the boat. So here they all go. Let's gather up the disciples. Do, 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 do. They all got onto this boat. Okay. And Jesus was with them. So they got onto the boat and they went out to sea. Why do you suppose they did that? I think Jesus knew that they were all tired. And Jesus knew how important it was to rest. He knew that they were helping a lot of people. And the thing about helping a lot of people, I don't know if you've ever been a crowd of people. Maybe during Frontier Days, you've gone out and you've been in the big crowds. Isn't it nice when you get home and it's quiet? Or maybe you went on vacation, but there were so many people there that, that you just needed some time away. So Jesus took his disciples out to the boat where they set out to the sea. Right there they are on the water where they're finally getting some time to rest. He said, come with me to a quiet place so that we can get some rest. So the Bible tells us they got on the boat and they went away with Jesus to a quiet place. Yes, we all need time to get away. Even Jesus and his friends needed to rest because Jesus knew that if they didn't rest, they wouldn't be able to help other people. 
I think that's pretty amazing, don't you? Absolutely. So, make sure that you and your families are taking time to rest during this busy, busy time of year, right? Lots of vacations. School's going to start up soon in about a month. Oh, wow. So make sure you take time to rest because we can't help other people if we're in need of help too, right? And we need rest so our bodies can grow big and strong. All right. Now, we know that Jesus taught us we need rest. So let's say a little prayer before we go today. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for work, for play, for school, for all the wonderful things that we get to do. We thank you for creating this beautiful planet for us to explore and learn more about you. We also thank you for those times when we can get away from it all and get some rest, whether that be someplace far or even in our own homes. Thank you for showing us how we can take care of ourselves so that we can help tell others about how wonderful you are. In your name we pray, amen. Wow, even Jesus needed time to rest. So that lets us know that we need time to rest sometimes too. Well, I hope you get some rest sometime during this week, but enjoy the wonderful sunshine. We're here at the church for you. We have services at 8 a.m. and 1030. And at the 1030 service, we have Children's Chapel where you can come downstairs and play with us and be here with us. Absolutely. We also have junior youth group today. Don't forget to bring your squirt guns. We're going to water the garden. <laughs> we'll see you all soon. Have a great day. Bye.